started doing a fun little animation but this time with some audio too so I'm gonna take a very basic tool here like a hard edge uh, brush maybe a large one let's see something like this and I want to animate a bouncing ball that's gonna come down do one bounce one down and that's it right, it's come out so uh, let's go and create an animation let's give it about 30 or 40 frames let's make it 49 why not 49 and we have now the steps here of the animation and I'm gonna go to the first one and there's nothing in there so let's go to the next one and now here we have a ball showing in next one here the ball is already here and it's gonna continue now it'd be convenient if we could actually see the prior images wouldn't it so what what we can do is actually enable the light table we also like to call it the onion skins and so with that, if we enable the light table, you'll see where the prior and the next images are. Right? So you can go to the next frame and you still see those. So you have a reference point. You can see how much it moved from this image to this one. So the next one, since gravity is accelerating, it should be farther apart and no longer overlapping. Here we still had an overlap. And then the next one, um, we should definitely be, you know, even bigger distance than what we see here. So maybe something like this. And then finally, uh, let's go. Let's just uh, something like this. Just almost touch down here. And then here we go and splat it down. Something like this. And then here we kind of do a bounce back. All right, so we're gonna go and move pretty fast up but then gradually slow down so there's more of an overlap as we go here we'll need to have more of an overlap because it is again slowing down and then we have something like this and now it's accelerating again so now the distance should be a little bit bigger that's a little bit too big let's undo that we don't want the size to be bigger just the distance that it moves a little bit more like that and then here it just does make first contact and then what we'll do here is we'll deform it so it will come down like this and then we'll have it roll or rock around here so it's mostly like flat still and even flatter so it kind of rotates around that pivot point there right and then eventually also comes up a little bit uh, but now here it's flat so it's going to flat down here and then it's going to stay here and then it's going to kind of gradually gravity dragging it down and down and slowly flow down here something like this right so it has reached the end of its life cycle there and it's just really flat there you go and then it will be absorbed assimilated resistance is futile and that's it all right so let's see what have we got here in animation let's go turn the uh the table off by the way there's a red shift here too so you can see the blue and the red which is the red is the stuff before the current frame and blue is the stuff before uh, after or ahead of it right so that sometimes allows you to see in which order things are moving actually from red to blue all right so let's go and turn that uh, thing off and so we have a little animation let's go play it bing 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 okay so now we need to create some sound effects like that Let's see if we have a way to add those. Uh, let's go and 
save this animation quick store this on disk because we might want to get back to it as we experiment all right so we've created this initial animation here let's play it back one more time right, and we need a little sound effect here bing bing bang bing bing bang bing bing bang something like that all right so let's go see if we have a place where we can record this obviously windows has uh, some uh, sound recording tools you could do that there but i think we may have something here under the exposure sheet that could be useful to record audio let's see record audio never used it or at least not in a long time Let's see what it looks like. There's a sample rate. Let's go with the highest quality. There's settings, audio properties. Oh, I guess you get to choose your microphone and some other things. Uh, let's just see what the default will give us. So record it. And let's do that while it's playing. So let's go play this. And we want to have a visual that way of what it is we are seeing here. All right, so here we go. Bing, 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 bing. All right, that should be good enough. Let's go save it. Uh, documents, let's go save it. All right, so we have that audio recorded. I can play it here. Bing, 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 bing. And I don't want to take the whole video because I might add some frames in between. I might slow it down. I might do all sorts of things. And so it's better to have a small sound bit. You know, it might be an explosion. It might be something else at the time when this thing hits the ground. Another time here it hits the ground. And then here when it does this weird melting thing. So I have three steps that I want to basically capture uh, out of this audio recordings. Uh, I'm going to open that in Audacity. Um, I do have the audacity to say so. Oh, wait, that's not here. So let's choose another app. Uh, you might have Adobe Audition. You might have a couple of other programs. Uh, I think I have audacity here. Come on. Well, there's also other tools, but I'm going to get me audacity because it's a, it's a great program. Uh, hang on. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Wait, looks like I actually had it already installed. So uh, let's go and just drag this right in here and play it. Bing, 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 bing. All right, so I did record that twice. That's actually not necessary. So I'm going to go and change this a little bit. I'm going to select this part and say delete this. And I'm going to really only need this part as one recording and then this part as another one. And then this one as a separate one. So I'm going to create three different bits and pieces here. So let me zoom in a little bit. Something like this. And first I'm going to do the very last one. And say I need this. So here I'm going to uh, skip to that side, delete it, and play that. All right, so that's the last one of the three. I'm going to do a save as or export to wave. And give me a second here, find the right folder. All right, there it is. I'm going to call this part three. Or I could give it the name of what it sounds like, like pew, something like that. Uh, let's call it pew. And that's uh, PCM 16 bit is good. Let's go with that. All right, so then I can undo this. Control Z, and I don't need this end part anymore, part three. I will need to play it from about here. Bing. Okay, so this part can go away, and that will be part two that I'm also exporting. And once again, it's going to give me now this one here is here, bing, bong, pyong. So it's going to go the pong, this one is going to be the second one. Not pop on. Part two. Bing. Bing. There you go. 
And then finally, Control Z. And we do have one more, which is get rid of the second part, put the sec first one in there, and play that. Bing, bing. All right, so that will be part one. Uh, yeah, part one is in sequence. Uh, export to the wave file, and it's going to be part one. It's going to be ping. Come on, you can do it. Ping, the ping. Well, maybe. Maybe that's a better description. Part one, ping. There you go. All right, so we have our three audio files. Uh, don't need this part anymore. You might be better off saving that as a project. You never know. Could be useful. I will skip that. All right, so we have the animation still going here, and we have three audio files. And now let's see how we can pull these into the animation. Right. Uh, this is the first release um, with this capability, so it's not going to go very sophisticated yet in terms of saving it with the audio or doing a whole bunch of other things. Right. So. We still got, we still have some work there, uh, but it's giving you an idea of where we're hoping to get with that. Um, and especially if you're a game developer and you might want to do some some game with sound, some clips and stuff like that. Hopefully that's uh, where this is going to go. Although you could certainly do very similar in uh, a more general purpose video editing tool. Right. So once you have your animation. Uh, nothing prevents you from saving that as an AVI file or some other media uh, image sequences, right? And and then put that into your video editor and add soundtracks to that, sound effects to that. But this might be fun, and uh, let's see what, what we can do with it. So so we need to identify where that first sound appears. This is too early. This is where it should appear. All right. So what you do is you right-click that frame. And you say insert sound at this frame, right? So we're going to need to select the frame, and it's in here, and that's uh, the sound that is. We're going to need to select the sound, and that's the first one here, right? So let's select that, and we have a marker here for the first one. So now let's go to the second one, and that will be right around here as it's touching down the second time. We will go here, right click, and sound will be added here. Which sound? Well, of course, part two. And that's it. So now we have two sounds, one here, one here. And there's a third one when it's melting along the, the ground here, the, the wall. Just as it touches here, maybe we want some electrostatic sound. Um, it could overlap. This first one starts here, but it could certainly last long enough to overlap with the other one. Right, so that's certainly something you can... All right, so well, let's say we want it about here when it's starting to actually come down like that, okay? So let's say around here, right-click that, and once more select now this time part number three, and that's it. So let's go to the first frame and simply play it. Bing, bing, meow. 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 Oh, magic. <laughs> All right. So that's basically the idea about this, right? I mean, you could also just have a soundtrack that goes from the first frame all the way to the end. Maybe do something like a you know, music track or something like that. You can have multiple soundtracks. On this frame here, we have just one. You can add more. So, I don't know, some echo, some shadowed glass, or some other thump and, you know, sounds so um have at it have fun and see where it's going to take you like i said this is a first uh venture into that we developed dan developed the api for this a while back this is the first time we now have implemented uh the ability to to tag these uh, to attach these sound bits uh to the to the soundtrack uh so as you play it it's gonna come to your speaker bing bing meow Bing, bing, meow. Bing. And uh, of course, there's much more we want, right? Eventually, we'll want to save it to uh, something like, uh, I don't know, save to an AVI file. 
Um, that certainly could carry the sound effects too. Uh, it's kind of like we would have to flatten it, kind of the equivalent of layers, right? Multiple layers, each layer may have a bit of a soundtrack, but when you want to save it out, probably keep it in just one soundtrack, mono, perhaps stereo, but certainly one, so maybe just one channel to keep it simple. And most importantly, to have multiple sounds uh, merged together into a single one. I mean, yeah, we could possibly have multiple channels in parallel for quadraphonic sound effects and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know that we need that level of sophistication just yet. Uh, we want to have fun with this, so let's keep it simple. Uh, so in the future, the future will tell if we'll have uh, time to properly implement additional capabilities there. Uh, certainly one thing you can do is if you, once you have coordinated these, right? Sound effects here, another sound effect here, another one here. Uh, you can certainly do a few more things. Uh, if you want to publish this out, well, you could just do a screen capture of it, just like I'm doing right now as I'm recording the video. Uh, you could do a screen capture and uh, simply by playing it, right? Bing, bing, bing. And then that way you bing, have bing, your bing, audio bing. and you have your, bing, your bing, video bing. synchronized. Bing, and bing, uh, bing. then take it from your screen capture bing, to the bing, next bing. level. All right. Bing, All right. So that's bing, it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll bing, see you next time. Bing, 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 bing. You see bing, me bing, fall. Bing. Help me out. Pick me up. Like a thousand times. Saying I would be alright.